let's start with an easy one and let's start with initializing a list that is let's create a list that has no elements and let's call this list l so l equals sign open square bracket close square bracket and that's it we have now created a list and on this list we can use uh, the methods we have learned that can be called on lists but for now let's create a list another one let's call it list that actually has some elements inside let's put first and these elements should have various data types so let's put first a, a floating point number then let's put an integer then let's put a string spam a lot then let's put another list let's have elements uh, string elements john for example then terry and let's make this third element of the list within the list also a list and just put eric and we can add another element that will be the last element of the list list and let's put true let's see if i've made a mistake great i didn't now we can index for example the second element of the list so print list with index number one that it would be the number seven and the program returns seven so now let's try indexing the letter C in Eric and we'll go step by step by step first let's index the element one two three four the fourth element that is the list within the list so print list index three we should get John Terry and Eric great now we can index the third element of the list, Eric. Let's try it. Try it. Print list. So this will be the list within the list. And then we can index 0, 1, 2. And we should get a list, Eric. Great. Now let's do. We have to index, we have to index zero, right? Let's see what we get. We get Eric because we have to uh, address the first element of the list, Eric, right? And now we can address another one letter. What did I, I forgot what I said, but let's address R. So print, print list three. This is list within the list. Then two, which is another list within the list. Then the first element, element of this list. And then we said R, which is the second letter and has index one. And this way we can go as deep as we need it to go. Great. Now uh, let's try using the function len on our list. So print len called on list. We have five elements of the list. Great. Now let's try updating the existing one of the existing elements in the list and let's um, change the, this list within the list so list and that is the element with index 0 1 2 3 and let's assign to it a string for example banana 
let's see what our list looks like now. Print 3.14.7 spam a lot banana true. Great. Now we can try out the new methods that we have learned. We can append a new element so it will add the element at the end of the list. List append and let's add cheese. Let, let's see our list, what it looks like. Print list. We have one, two, three, four, five, six elements now. Great. We can insert another element. So the method insert adds an element, but not on, at the end of the list, but anywhere we want it to add. So list insert and let's add it in the first element and let's that is the index zero and let's add Bruce print list to see what happens and we have one two three four five six seven elements in our original list now and now we want to remove a, a string, for example, list, and we'll call the remove method on the list, and we'll remove the banana. Print out the list to see what happened. And we have Bruce 3.14, 7, Spamalot, True, and Cheese. No banana.